Hi, I'm Daniel Spalletta. I was born in Athens, Georgia, and I wear number 14 for Detroit City FC. I had lived in the States before, so I, I was a little bit familiar with the college system, but I, I veered away from it a little bit in, in Costa Rica because I was getting some professional minutes there, and I thought maybe my path would be to pursue soccer professionally. I had a little bit of a rude awakening with an injury that took me out for almost a year. That set me back on track with saying, okay, I, I've got to really prioritize my, my education and I thought it would be a good way for me to also develop as a player. I wanted to also keep my doors open to play professionally so I was pretty heavily focused on that but I, I also knew that I wanted to get as much out of this experience as I could and my dad and my mom have always been in biology. I was pretty interested in that branch of science and also with the decision making on the field I kind of saw a link between neuroscience and soccer. So it became kind of like a second passion for me. And then I transferred to Fordham for, for my final year, my fifth year, pursued a master's in data science. I think last year was a big transition year for me where I really had to come to terms with kind of not having a team at some point. So I went on, on a few trials actually before landing in NISA. I think someone that deserves a lot of credit for helping me along in this journey is uh, the Toronto FC president, Mr. Bill Manning. He gave me a lot of contacts and I ended up going to California. Uh, I ended up only playing three games with uh, the LA Force just because another opportunity came up in Costa Rica. So it was a short but pretty sweet experience. I wrote to Danny and, and he, he told me, hey, um, we want to bring you on board as a trialist. I knew about Danny beforehand. I, I did some research and, and looked into his playing career his, and now his coaching career and definitely was someone that I, I wanted to align myself with and, and learn from. I've come to learn that being on trial is, is pretty brutal. And I think the right mindset to have is everything is a bonus. Uh, nothing is really a given when you're a trialist. It's a good experience. You get to meet different people you get to learn from Danny even if it's for a week or two weeks it's still something that it's on your resume it's it's gonna help you elsewhere even if you don't stay it was a, a week by week process where uh, I would talk with uh, coach Danny and, and coach Yanni at the end of the week we kind of recap and, and say well we'd like to have you for for a little bit more for a little bit longer Danny pulled me into the office and and he said that that they'd be happy to have me on board and that's that's when kind of you you think back to all of the hard times that that you had been through for the past year and to now have that security of knowing i'm going to be on this team and especially especially on this team that i had felt such a good part of during the preseason um, that I was going to be able to, to keep going. I, I, was, I was super happy and super excited. I, I don't think there's enough clubs like Detroit where you have a really strong community foundation. It's really why this club exists. And you don't see clubs like that in the MLS, to be fair. And I think that that club origin is very important because you see that people truly care. You see families out there that are kind of looking at you as, as a potential role model for the kids and that means a lot to you as a player to, to be able to be that for someone is, is a privilege.